beautiful biscuits, welcome back to the wholesome feed. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rose Kelly. I write under the pen name R.M. Kelly for romance and erotica for women. You can check out all my novels that are linked down below. You can go grab a copy right now. Leave a comment down below if you have read one of my novels and which one's your favorite. <laughs> but today, as a work from home mama, I'm trying to exercise some more. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I am in the worst shape of my life. I'm the heaviest I've ever been and I don't really go by weight or even clothing size per se but I just don't feel very healthy. I really don't. Um, it's been about five years now that I've had some chronic health stuff and it has not gone better. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit worse actually. Um, and I moved to the city like a year, year and a half ago and it has just really affected how much walking I do, how much exercise I get. So as I try to figure out a gym to join. And I don't say that as like, I hate my body. I think my body is great right now. It brings me so much joy. Um, you know, I don't feel hesitant of showing my body or being happy in my body, but I wanna feel stronger and I wanna feel fitter. You know what I mean by that? It's not necessarily that I know I wanna weigh less, but I wanna feel fit and I don't feel fit right now. So I am gonna show you a little yoga haul that I bought. I bought a couple different things for some yoga, some at-home Pilates. I might start doing a little bit of uh, HIIT workouts and just kind of try to get my body back to a zone where I feel strong and confident and I'm hoping it'll help with my chronic health issues um, that have just, I can't believe that it has been five years since I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> and I could, I, I thought about it this, it was January. January was when I thought to myself, has it? Maybe it's only been four years. What year is it? Oh, four or five years? It's been a long time. I'm, I'm shocked by it. But it's really made me want to get a little bit fitter and healthier. Um, my youngest is about, like right about to be three. And I kind of feel like those three years postpartum, you're really coming back into your own body. I feel a little bit ready to do do some things for me. So this is my little haul. I'll start off. Okay. A little ASMR for you. <laughs> I get requested to do ASMR sometimes. Ooh. And I always think, oh, should I? You know what, Biscuits? I'm going to use all of this workout equipment. I'm going to put it on my Patreon page. Um, I think I'm going to put it on my $20 a month tier because the one above that is my homemaker tier. So that has my home tips, my homemaker lifestyle, my all my really uncensored cleaning videos and tips. So I think since I'm gonna be in a fitness thing, I'll do some of this on my best biscuits uh, tier and I'll do some of this on that intro first level tier because I think it'd be fun, be fun for more of us to get to work out along because I know I work out better. They always come to me cute bag. So I went with colors that make me happy because if it's beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, I'm so much more likely to actually do the workout because I enjoy looking at the thing. I don't mind keeping this equipment out. So these are Pilates bands and I've done workout videos on these since my son, who was nine, was a toddler. And these have been some of my best way to gain fitness because I can literally do five or 10 minutes of these while we watch TV or while dinner cooks, you know? So these are different, um, medium extra light heavy extra heavy oh i've never had an extra light one that might be fun to do these are adorable though here i'll show you what one of them looks like i'll do the extra light one just because i think it's a pretty color so these you can do on your arms legs great for your booty one of my goals is to get my core stronger because my hip keeps popping up joint i have this genetic thing where um, i just have like this weird hypermobility in my joints and while that sounds like a great thing to have, it actually can lead to a lot of injuries. So I'm hoping to get that. Oh yeah, this one's, I agree. Even, I'm so out of shape, but even for me, I'm like, this might not be strong enough, but I love it. I'm hoping these are strong and are not gonna snap. That's always my fear, but my last ones were always strong. Okay, this I laughed at because it looks like a smoochy smoochy toy that you would find on my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boop! If you want to go check out my romance novels turned into movies, you can go check that out over on there. But this is not, it's not what it is, Biscuits. Get your mind out of the fun gutter. This is like a jump rope, a weighted jump rope thing. And it says that it comes with 
both like the rope and the weighted balls and the weight blocks. So I'm very, I've never had one. I haven't jumped rope since I was a kid. I'm gonna have to pit the ladies in like a sports bra or something. God, I'm so out of shape. I don't even know if I have a sports bra that'll fit or exercise stuff. I used to, you biscuits have been falling around for a while. Like 2018, 2019, I was in such good shape. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gone downhill from there. <laughs> I still have my jiggles and my rolls, you know, but I felt strong. I didn't get winded easily. Oh, I am just out of shape. And ooh, ooh, wait, a little ASMR. Ooh, ooh, let's check it out. Okay, I'm excited for this because it's random and weird. So it comes with a battery. Okay, I better my, not let my toddler eat that. Comes with some instructions. Thank God, I didn't think that my jump rope needed instructions, but it does. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then it comes with these balls. These aren't heavy though. Maybe you like pump them up and they get heavy? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to read the directions. But these attach on. Um, let's see what these look like. This is gonna be so much fun. I love creating something new and special for Patreon. Um, December we had 24 days of brand new videos or printables or photos every day for our advent calendar and then January we had an 11 day powerful manifestation course and now in February I have been doing all sorts of fun printables and new videos and brand new content for every tier um, and now I feel like that has a little bit of weight I don't like that um, it turns on I'll have to check it out and put in the battery uh, but I think that'll be really fun it kind of snaps in here I think this will be so much fun to have have my Patreon biscuits as kind of my accountability biscuits and get this done. I've been doing more chats on Patreon because I finally downloaded the app onto my phone. <laughs> I've always managed it and interacted with it on my computer. And so there's like on my phone now it's like having Instagram but on Patreon so I just pop on and I chat and I send photos and you know, silly goofy stuff. Okay, this I'm excited for. You biscuits know that every family member in my house has a yoga ball because sometimes we all do yoga together we just bounce on the balls it gets out a lot of energy it's fun so we have little tiny balls for the toddler and big balls for the rest of us um, oh okay this comes with the pump and this oh this is so smart it's got the tape measure to know how inflated it is this is such a good color of a ball i have been looking everywhere all the pinks i can find are these bright neon pinks which are fun but I really wanted something pleasing and calming that I would use regularly. I cannot wait to inflate this. Oh my God. I'm probably gonna put a reel on Instagram <laughs> about this. Okay, uh, this is so cool. Look at these colors. These are so much fun. I am in love. I'm glad that I finally bought something for myself that is gonna make me happy and fitter and healthier. The time is coming. There's out of shape, and then there's like not good for you out of shape. <laughs> and that's the stage I have to be. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the time has most definitely come that I need to work out. Ooh, ooh, this, I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to join a gym this year. My sister and I were discussing joining a gym together and then going and working out together and being our workout buddies. But she has a really different schedule than I do. Um, so I, I don't. It's so expensive. I have to have a family membership at a gym, obviously. And it's just like a hundred bucks a month, which is absolutely insane um, for, for trying to work out. So I don't know. I haven't talked myself into it, even though I really want it. Oh, this is weird. This is like taped in, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to keep that. Okay. Wait, I got confused. <laughs> yoga mat. I haven't bought myself a new yoga mat in years. And the last yoga mat I bought ended up being a totally different color than what the photo of it was. And it looked so bad. I hated using it because every time I would look at it, it would just blind me. This is so nice. It's pretty thick. By the way, I bought all this stuff with my money. Like, this is not a yoga sponsored post. It's got a nice little backtrack. Okay. I like this. Cute little strap. The straps do not match the, the color of this yoga mat at all, but that's fine. Um, I like it. This I don't mind keeping in my living room, which was one of my goals. I want something that I will keep in my bedroom in my living room and just keep out and use every day. So this is exciting. Oh, I am really stoked to try all these things, biscuits. I legit am because 
got a nice thickness to that. Not too thick, but totally usable. And it feels like it's got some traction. You know how some yoga mats you just slide off of? You're like, power shoot out. You don't want that. That's not a good outcome. Uh, and my goal was stuff that I will just leave out in a basket in my bedroom or living room and I will work out a little bit, like five minutes, ten minutes here and there. Um, and then, then I'll decide. I'll update you biscuits if you, I don't know if you care, but I care when people are, you know, getting fit and getting happy in their bodies, which is what this is about for me. Um, I don't want this to trigger anybody with exercise or eating disorder things. You know, I am in long recovery from disordered eating in my teen years. Uh, I grew up in a household that was very much fat phobic. Like fat was the worst thing you could be. It'd be better if you went to jail than got fat. And you know, still when I see my relatives, there are certain ones that comment on my weight or oh, you gained a lot of weight. They gossip, oh, sorry, I'm just moving something. Uh, they, they will gossip with other family members right out of earshot and I'll be able to hear them. Um, so it makes me very self-conscious and I don't think I'm particularly overweight or high BMI. I'm definitely out of shape and I am a little bit overweight for what I feel like my asthma lungs like to carry around. Um, but I really consider it a fitness thing. And I just think the older I get, I'm just gonna pit on weight slowly over the decades. I'm not going to be the same weight I was when I was 15. Um, and I don't think I would be healthy if I were. So that it's always in the back of my mind, is that disordered eating idea of like, well, maybe I'll just won't eat today. And I'm really trying not to do that. I'm trying to just feel strong and fit and healthy so that my kiddos, whenever they hear me talk about my body, it is a good thing. It's about, you know, like I'll, we'll even talk that they'll be like, oh, your, your belly's a little jiggly. And I will be like, oh yeah, jiggle, jiggle. Isn't that great? I do not say disparaging negative things either in private to myself or around my family about myself because, you know, our body, our cells hear that negativity, right? I mean, that's part of what I talk about all this primal knowledge is it's knowledge in ourselves, right? Um, but I do want to get a little stronger. I don't want my hip to pop out of joint and I want my lungs to be a little bit better. Ever since I've moved to a more urban setting, so it's just naturally got more like car off gases and chemicals in the air than the countryside, my lungs have taken a terrible hit. I've had like some of my worst asthma things, um, excluding allergic reactions that I've had in the past. And so I really think if I get a little more fit, if I build some muscle tone, I'll be able to start doing some more cardio. And I think that that will help my lungs. Um, that is my goal. That's my goal for this year is one of many is really just feeling strong in my body again. Um, you know, it's funny. I am absolutely the heaviest. Like I might be as heavy as I ever was even pregnant right now. I don't, I don't have a scale because I find it extremely triggering for disorder eating. Um, but I might be like, it's a good chance that I'm as heavy as I was in any of my pregnancies, which is crazy to think about. And somehow I'm not bothered by that. I kind of like how my body looks, you know? I just want to have a little more muscle tone. And I'm shocked myself that I'm not like, oh, you know, saying mean things about how fat I've gotten. I kind of like the way my body looks, you know? I, you know, I run my Patreon and I run my OnlyFans, so I see my body a lot. And I'm like, you know what? You're a pretty good body. You're getting me along. You are going through keeping me alive and being fabulous. But I want muscles. So this is what I'm going to do. This is my goal. I hope your biscuits will come along for a fitness journey because we can be fit together. I know. I know we can. We can be fit and strong. We can be healthy this year. That is part about taking back our power of self-sustainability for our food and our family's education and the physical health of our bodies, right? We're taking that back. I'm going to see you in the next video, Biscuits. Hope to see you over on Patreon. It means so much to me, all the Biscuits that join on there. We are up to 1,200 patrons. It's like 1,257 or something like that, <laughs> which is huge because it really supports me being able to do all my free content here on YouTube, all my free content on Instagram. So it really means a bunch to me that you care enough to come say hi on our Patreon community. So I'll see you over there.